All right, there's the temp right there. I got to, I had this plugged in. All right, still is plugged in, but I gave it some time to cool off. I gave it some time to cool off so the motor is not super hot because I think the heat from not uh, letting it cool down is, it's something to the shielding. So I gave it about 10 minutes to cool down. Full disclosure, I'm having a bad episode right now. Whatever is in my head is not right. I'm frustrated, hurt, depressed. Feel unwanted, not useful, not included. You know, like an outcast kind of, you know, it just brings back all the memories of being, feeling that way as a young, young child there and uh and it just reinforces my beliefs and that's the the whole bipolar or whatever it is that's causing me to go this way spiral i've been in my room for the last about three to four hours in my poopy pants syndrome you know borderline tears just not doing very well and you know i have this awesome freezer here that's here and you know i i, I have class in about an hour so I can't contaminate such a good um, such a good place where I, I, I cherish and I value and I just can't bring myself to bring this attitude there like I don't even want to go to class with this attitude that's the whole issue that's why this <sighs> ice bath is so important to me so now that it's been freezing for quite a few, since since um, Kevin came over and dipped in, I uh, been I plugged it in so nine, uh, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, almost uh, eight hours. So now it has quite a build up. I'm gonna break apart some of the ice I'm able to. I'm gonna do a dip, and then I'm gonna get ready for class, and then hopefully my attitude will change. Right now I just feel so cringy at my own self. Do you know how? exhausting it is to cringe at yourself and it just manifests and it just spirals into more and more cringe and more and more self-loathing it, it's it's not healthy but that's why i'm sharing this because it's not all happy times and you know life is great you know it, it can be i could be in paradise but in here it's not that's the whole point of the ice bath and that's what i'm trying to share to any viewers that could relate you know, I hope I'm reaching that target audience that basically I wish that somebody had, well, actually Wim Hof is that man. And that's why, that's why I value his teachings and the way he is and his happiness and his boisterous and his loudness. Because when I'm loud, everyone tells me to shut the fuck up. Oh, you're too loud. And that's me excited. And that just crushes me, you know? And, and, and that's what I'm trying to share is I can't be myself without offending somebody. I can't say shit without disturbing somebody. You know what I mean? It, it, it's never allowing me to be me. And if I am me, I have to walk on eggshells with myself or else I'm doing something wrong. So that's my rant. I'm just sick of fucking talking about myself. That's like, it's, it's horrible. Anyways, uh, I'm going to smash some ice and hopefully get this ready before I go. appreciate me being 100% honest with you I'm like I say I'm here for the people that need to hear this so they understand that they're not alone and yeah there are people like that so you know you're not uniquely unique
I need to do is make a waterfall like Wim Hof has in his backyard. I just have to... This is much colder. Can I fit? There's so much ice build up on this side. I can't squeeze my bum. So I'll bring it all on this side. I'm gonna have to give it a couple hours to melt the sides off, so. See, all that anger, oh wow, it just goes away very quickly. That tension, that butterflies in my stomach, that sick to my stomach feeling, oh, it just, just goes away. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I'm glad I did this. It's such a shitty attitude that I have. It's so debilitating, I'm telling you. It, it, ju it just hinders everything about me that's positive, like instantly, and it's so frustrating. But this is allowing me to unwind, literally. Get out of that poopy pants syndrome, and <sighs> man, I, I'm so glad. You know, the cold doesn't even it's not even uncomfortable anymore. It's it, it's such a relief. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Truly this is ice therapy. This is mental, emotional, Bipolar people, I recommend this. You know, this is something that you might find valuable if you don't want to be on pharma. Like I'm not, yeah, I go through my highs and I go through my lows, but what in my lows, when I jump in here, it's better than any medication because your brain will give you the proper prescription through the stress of the water. See, like I, I feel, I feel so much better now. <sighs> so much better. Oh man. <sighs> yeah, it's 
is nice. This is the second time I've been in here today. Go in the ice as much as you need. It's There's no recipe one and done. If you need to go twice, go twice. If it's three times, three times. But your body will only get stronger. Your will will only get stronger. Your discipline will only get stronger. You know, that's the side effect of being in cold. You have stronger circulation. <sighs> more tolerant to stresses and you know you have a way out when things get too bad or you can't manage it in your own mind and you just want to crawl out of your own skin and you know you cringe at your own thoughts this is the way this is the way <laughs> yeah <sighs> I'm glad I was able to share this video with you when I was in my poopy pants syndrome because now you see the total difference. Like I, I could feel it in my face. Like my cheek, like I just don't feel like my cheek, like my, my facial muscles just, I just feel myself just deteriorate fast mentally. My focus sucks when I'm in that mood. I feel that the world hates me, that my family can't stand me. You know, it just it just self self defeating behavior. That's thoughts. You know, I got. Yeah. Yeah. I hope this helps you guys out there that are watching that have the same somewhat issues. You may not be identical, but whatever it is, this has got me off of weed. I stopped smoking weed because there's so much value in this. Like usually I'd be all doped up by now, smoking so much shatter right now that I'd be comatose. And that was my happy place because I wasn't thinking of myself, right? So that's the whole point is I'm loving myself through the hard times with positive stress, not stressing my lungs and my uh, chemical balance with, with drugs. You know, this is this this is the way. Um, I want to be a better me. You know, I I don't like being miserable. I don't like being emotionally negative. I don't like finding fault, finding any excuse to drag me down. But some, but some that's how I'm wired sometimes. So I have to untangle all that with the cold. So. Um, well i thought i had an awesome video i think i might have pushed the button i don't know but um you got the gist of it this helps if anyone's out there that has issues the ice how helps you don't have to do drugs you don't have to smoke weed you don't have to comatose yourself with pills <sighs> this works so much better i feel so much better and I want to thank my parents for supplying the ice bath. Time to go. Yeah, oh, so <laughs> I was talking to myself in there. I guess I hit stop by accident, but. Like I said, I think you guys got the gist of it. All right, let's... Uh... Keep that. So thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you can see the transformation literally from before and after. Big difference. Like I, It's like a switch goes on and happiness happens and life is back into me and happiness and i'm present and i'm not stewing and sinking 
in my own thoughts, you know, that is so exhausting. That's what kicks the shit out of me. Straight up is my own self defeating thoughts. Here, let's wipe off this. You know, the, the, the hot thought, you know, it's, it's just, it's just nonsense that doesn't have to be in my mind. And this is something that really snap, really snaps me out of it into a positive way of thinking. So thanks for joining this episode. Like I said, this is something that I wanted to share and show you the whole juxtapose of poopy pants, Angelo and happy Happy Pants, Angela. So thank you for joining me. Bye-bye. Dun-dun-dun!